In this video, we're gonna be talking about chumming for sheep's head. Now I have some on the water footage that I'm gonna share with you actually showing this in action and just how effective it can be. So definitely stay tuned for that. But first, I wanna go ahead and talk about some of the tools that you may want to consider having to get the job done. As far as the process goes, you're really, all you're doing is just scraping barnacles off the pilings, bridge pilings, dock pilings, whatever it may be, to help draw those fish in and get them to start feeding. Now, before you go out and do this, definitely make sure it is legal uh, in your area. Some areas have, you know, regulations on barnacles, especially oysters. Definitely do not scrape oysters off of pilings because they are protected. They have regulations on them, so you don't want to be doing that. Also, you don't want to be doing this on someone's private dock. So if it's a public bridge, causeway, something like that, you should be good, uh, good to go. But again, make sure you check your regulations in your area. Now, as far as the tools go, I know there's a lot of different methods people use, different tools people use. Some people will just take a knife or you know, a screwdriver or even an old paddle to scrape the pilings. But if you want something a little bit more efficient and effective, I would really recommend going with a floor scraper this is a heavy duty floor scraper uh, that I got off Amazon. It's made by Bully Tools. And if you wanna see a link to that, we'll have one in the article. Definitely check that out. But if you are using any type of heavy duty scraper or really anything that you're hanging over the water, highly recommend adding a little wrist loop with a piece of rope. That way, if you are scraping the barnacles or the pi and the pilings, you know, if this comes loose, it's pretty heavy and it'll go straight down to the bottom. So you want a way to keep that secured so you don't lose it. Now, another thing that I like to use, and this is probably my favorite, especially fishing from the kayak, is a small sand flea rake because they're lightweight aluminum. They're not heavy and cumbersome. And you can even cut the handle down a little bit if you need to, because if you're sitting on the kayak, you just be right next to the piling and scrape the barnacles off that way. And you're actually gonna see this method in action in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look. So when chumming for sheep's head, like I said, scraping the barnacles off the pilings is the best way to do so. And make sure they are barnacles and not oysters. I know in some areas you're not allowed to scrape the oysters off the pilings and you can uh, find yourself getting fined for that. So barnacles, of course, they're these small white or brown or black uh, little crustaceans on the pilings. And I was using a sand flea rake. It was all I had at the time. I didn't have a scraper. But what I like about the sand flea rake, as you can see there, you can scrape up and actually collect the barnacles uh, into the sand flea rake. And then you can just scoop them out and throw them over into the area that you're going to drop your bait down. Now once I felt like I had chummed up enough barnacles, I went ahead and dropped a fiddler crab down. I'm going to show you this clip pretty much uncut because I want to show you how quickly uh, I was able to hook into a fish and this first fish was a very large black drum I was not expecting it and it was a pretty fun fight. I wasn't able to land the fish He broke me off at the last minute when I got him closer But I just want to show you again how quickly uh, You can hook up to fish after chumming plus show you this uh, pretty fun fight
my rod tip away from the pilings. He's got me wrapped around there now. Come on, don't come off. Don't come off. Let's be a good drum. <laughs> Literally fighting him under these pilings. see I had that fish nice and close he wrapped me around that piling and broke me off and you can see I had a few choice words uh, to give that fish afterwards but I did get some revenge and was able to catch some uh, really nice sheep's head after that basically just doing the same thing before I would drop a bait down I would chum up the pilings drop a bait down wait for those strikes that was nuts So you notice I was pretty much right in this mess right here. I had a bunch of pilings very close together, a lot of structure close together, and it's a really good spot for sheep's head. Also, I always like to keep the rod in my hand. I do not like to put it in the rod holder because you really have to feel those bites. They're very subtle bites, and as soon as you feel just a slight nibble, you want to try to set the hook with these fiddler crabs. sweeper jig with fiddler crabs. So what I'm using here, this is a bottom sweeper jig and it's made for sheep's head, black drum, 
and pretty much anything that feeds off the bottom. It's a one out hook and a one ounce weight and it's pretty balanced when it sits there. It just sits on the bottom, the crab's up and the hook point is up. It's for a pretty good hook. Show you just how I'm rigging these crabs really quick. So I actually went out and caught these yesterday. Glad I did. So what I'm doing is going through the bottom of the crab and then out through the top. I'm trying to keep the claw on. I like to keep the claw on because it almost like acts like a attractor for the fish. Little visual aid for them there. So hopefully this video will help you get on some more sheep's head. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, I'd like to know your feedback. If you have a different or favorite method for chumming sheep's head, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you are new to Salt Strong, we are the online fishing club that guarantees you'll start catching more inshore fish while saving money on your favorite tackle and gear. So if you need more information about that, just head over to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live so strong and wear the line today